All right, watch fans, I got another. Just like the one before. Don't know anything about it, but we're going to find out. This from Watch King. Interesting. Fourth of July coming soon. Okay, you can tell how long I've had this one. I do apologize. Fourth of July has come and gone. It is actually the end of August at this point. Axwell. Interesting. I know nothing about this. Have absolutely no clue. But we will see. Maybe it's cool. Ooh, a card. Oh, okay. You know what? It looks like looks like a shield watch. I bet you it's by the same company, but that's okay. It looks nice. I like it. All right, this is the Axwell Ascent GMT. Very cool. Very cool. All right, if I can find a video, I will post one. Otherwise, we'll be right back pretty quick. All right, so I had never heard of this brand, but it's kind of cool. Um, it's kind of nice. I don't really understand the name. Um, a lot of these brands, like, I don't think this is, I think this is the same company as, uh, I'm not going to bother looking. Uh, I've done the research before. And there's a couple brands, right, you know, like Shield and, uh, some of the others, and and they are good watches. Uh, I'm you know not going to deny that they are actually very good watches, uh, and you're getting decent quality. I mean, if you're getting a watch, you know, you're buying because you want a nice watch. They're they're nice, so it's what it is. I think this comes from the same company, and that's okay because this looks like my shield, um, which I have and I like. Uh, this one says it's actually made in China, so it is what it is, right? Um, but but, but it is not just a normal, it is not an Alibaba watch, right? It's not one of those. It's actually kind of decent. Um, I don't know what the MSRP was. This is probably one of the ones that I got. Um, I don't know if this was, uh, this is probably a wheel watch, but it's okay. Um, let's look at this. So first of all, this is definitely mineral crystal, hard mineral crystal, that's okay. Um, it's 20 ATM. That's 200 meter water resistance. That is pretty good, right? That's 660 feet. Um, I'm happy with that. That's, that's fantastic. I mean, you could actually do some legitimate diving with it. Uh, that's the length of two football fields, uh, high school football fields. So that is, that's no joke. Um, yep. So it's pretty good. You could take this to the beach, snorkeling. Uh, actual diving, whatever you want. Uh, another thing worth noting is that it does have a shoe down crown and you know how much I like that. I really like that. Now a shoe down crown can be frustrating if your watch is a mechanical watch um, and not an automatic. Um, or quite honestly, even if it's an automatic and you're not, you know, sitting on the thing and it's constantly moving and you pick it up once every couple months, then you gotta unscrew it and wind it you know, so that, that can get old. Uh, but this is nice, so 200 meters, uh, GMT, you know how it works, right? You uh, you pull it out all the way uh, to the right, I'm sorry, you put it to, turn it clockwise. Oh, what am I doing wrong? There we go, clockwise is to change the date, and the other way is to move the GMT. So, oh, I gotta fix that. And I don't even know what time it is, but whatever. But it's nice. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it, though, because I have so many of them. It says it has a Swiss Ronda. I'm going to put a picture of that right up there. It will be interesting to see if it is a gold Ronda, which means that it'll probably have seven jewels versus three. Um, I suspect it's probably the three jewel movement, which means that... Uh, the movement is not timed and made in-house by Rhonda, but in fact, Rhonda gave the movement parts to the company and they put it together or uh, did final, final assembly on it, but it's not guaranteed 
by Rhonda in terms of uh, accuracy. I think the accuracy, if I, if I remember correctly, you know, I used to put a little bit more information in my, in my videos, but I think the movements for the Rondas were like, uh, it was like a, I don't know, something like 11% more accurate uh, when you got the actual Rhonda gold, um, which is effectively means the case is covered, is coated in gold, but it's, it just signifies that it was assembled in the factory. Um, it has good solid links. And, uh, one of the things that's interesting too, right, is that, um, I'm not going to take this off cause it's probably not what I'm going to keep, but you know, some of them are drilled, but then these here, they've actually, uh, spot welded it in. And, and that's important cause that's, that's not cheap. Um, that takes time. So even though it's made in China, it means that some effort was put into it. Um, 316 stainless steel. The uh, the back is very nice, the way it's been sort of etched. Uh, I really like that. That's probably, that's I would guarantee that's laser etched. Um, very nice back, I, I really like it. Um, I also like the solid end links. I can't stand loose end links. I really prefer the solid end links. A lot of the <clears throat> newer watches are going that way, especially the higher value ones which this is not but it's it's decent um there's no pip at the top but let's see it's got good uh uh it's got good action i'll put how many clicks it is right at the bottom i, I don't know i'm not gonna count it right now uh but it's nice 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 uh all right let's uh let's start doing the weight and the measurements All right, 100, I'm just gonna say 180 grams, so not bad. Um, it's not a huge watch. I'm gonna say, I've been wrong this whole time. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything, I'm just gonna see. 40, I'm gonna say this, that's 42. Yeah, 42 millimeters. <clears throat> the uh, lug is 20. And the depth is 13. And lug to lug is less. Less than some of the other ones I've been reviewing. 43. Okay, so not bad. Um, and I have a 7.5 inch wrist. Um, I'll put this on to see how it fits. It's, well, look, it's, it's definitely for somebody, I mean, I got to adjust it, but you could have a very large wrist. You could have a nine inch wrist, something like that, 10 inch, and this would fit just fine. <clears throat> I, I think this is a good size. This is probably the most ideal size for a watch, personally. Um, I like it, but I already have the shield, uh, which is also a 200 meter. So there's really no point for me to keep this one. So if you like this one, it'll go up on eBay at some point. I don't know, but... Um, all right, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Thank you very much.